Hey everybody, it's Cursing Bulldog here again, and I'm working with some more redstone fun. Just watched a video by Minecraft Addict, and he's got this uh, cool new flip-flop type device where uh, he's got two sticky pistons fighting over one block, and it gives him three, or basically three different uh, states in his contraption. So if you click the button once, you get uh, you get one up. And it cycles through and you get two up. That one's up due to a one tick pulse going through that one. And you come back and you just have the one. And then that cycle pretty much just repeats itself. And I thought, you know, that's pretty cool. But you know what? That basically is, is just, uh, you know, a playoff of your pretty standard T flip-flop here. And uh, this one's got... Uh, so it just has two states. It has, you know, on and off. And up there, it's got three. You've got, you know, one, two, three. So you got a two state, two state flip flop, three state flip flop. And I expanded on that design. And here we have a four state uh, flip flop. Let's see if I can get just just make out the regular key flip flop right there. And don't see in the back. So we got one with one up here. That one's up, and that one's got the middle up. Then we got two. We got three. The third state here is completely off. None of the none of the them are up. And then four, where you just have the center one up. So this design, it's just uh, it's a, quite a bit. It's a bit bigger, but it gets you four distinct states, and you don't get uh, one of your pistons. I'm glitched out. Basically, you do the same. It's basically the same as this, where you have two pistons fighting over one block, except I've added a third piston on top. So it's box in the middle. Let's see if I can get back to that state. There you go. So here are the blocks in the middle. Click the button again, all three pistons will extend and fight over it. And uh, for some reason it cycles through. I don't know why that is, but it's nifty. And so all I did was add the piston on top, uh, ran some wire up to it, so that increased the length of the gadget. Um, I had to get power to this, to this upper level. Um, you don't have to, I guess. You can do it a little bit differently, where you get rid of the red or the, uh, the blocks in red so but this way it gets rid of that uh, one that's you know when you have you don't have two on at the same time or you don't have that one tick pulse that comes through on the center lane but you could do it just like this and get rid of the red blocks and shorten this contraption up some in which case you would have off when it's in, when it's up on the third piston, then you'd have on with uh, one steady on, one that gets the one tick pulse. Then you cycle through, and so you can do it either way. I like it better with uh, this way, with the extra with the block redstone dust, and then the uh, torch powering this repeater into the block. Because that way it gets you four perfectly distinct states instead of, you know, a one tick pulse going through somewhere. But either way, it might be efficient for somebody. Not. So I've got this design now, and uh, we'll call this the four state uh, flip flop. So we got your standard two state flip flop, your three state flip flop, and your four state flip flop. And then I'm like, what else can we do? So I came up with the five state flip flop. And uh, see, it's basically just a cross, and you've got your wiring gets all sorts of confusing, getting everything organized. But you got you got off, you got one, you got two, you got three, and you've got four. And from what I can tell, it's kind of random which order it's gonna you're gonna rotate through. But uh, once you get one, as long as you give let the system you know, cool down between each press and you're not spamming the button you know it'll, it'll cycle through pretty good 
pretty pretty consistent on uh, you know which ones go th through. Sometimes you'll get an odd where it'll go to a piston that's not in order, but uh, it works pretty good. Now I'm not sure you may be able to get to a six state by adding another piston where this redstone is facing down, but getting all of that wiring to work without um, inadvertently activating one of the lower pistons would just be incredible, I would think. You'd have to, you know, be perfect. I suppose we could try, but I don't know if I really want to break this. So you'd... But, uh, but yeah, it's... So we've got two, three... Uh, two, two and the three, that is Minecraft Addicts. Uh, the four, which I came up with, and the five. And I'm, I would sure love to see if somebody could get a six working. That would be awesome. But I don't, I don't have the patience to try and get that all, all sorted out. And so anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Hope it helps some people out. I don't, best use I can think of for this stuff right now would be minecarts. You know, cycle through whichever way you want to go, just with one button. You know, I want to go up to my base, so I click this one. Oh, then you have your indicator light saying you know, main base, and then your exploratory mine, and then, uh, you know, your, your, uh, nether gate or something, and then your, oh, your, uh, you know, your beach house or something like that, so, you know, it's pretty cool stuff, and it's just, I think it's pretty awesome, and then I wish I would have thought of that first one first, you know, that'd be pretty cool stuff, but, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed. See you later.